Welcome back to the Hardport Pub, everybody. Got Wolfie in here with me today. He got a bit of a haircut uh, last night, but the uh, his clippers weren't charged, so I had to use scissors for most of it, but the clippers are charged now. He'll be getting a uh, buzz cut. Yeah, with this kind of hair, my sons aren't really good about brushing it. It gets, uh, gets matted, so the only remedy for that is to cut it off and start over. He grows fast. He won't freeze to death this winter, I promise. All right, well, this beer that I'm doing today was given to me by Alan over at this one flight down right here, up in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Oddly enough, I'm wearing a uh, beer for breakfast facts for snacks shirt. Probably wondering why that is. Alan gave me a shirt. I have a shirt. Why am I not wearing my one flight down shirt? I'm reviewing a one flight down beer. Well, I happen to know that uh, Drew is quite fond of, of Alan up there, and uh, so I figure I'm bringing two, two things together here. How about that? How about that? So, <clears throat> this is from Torque Brewing. It's a blonde ale. Wolfie, you will not be partaking in this today. I only have this one can. Mechanics of Beer. This is Torque Brewing out of Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Torquebrewing.beer. It's got 4.5% alcohol and 18 IBU, so this thing is not going to be bitter at all. It says, taking the checkered flag as a crisp, bright, and refreshing beer, our blonde ale is a clear winner. A welcome guest at all barbecues, patios, and wherever a great beer is required. Well, no barbecue or patio today, but a great beer is required here in the Hardcore Pub. So, let's crack this thing open, see what it's all about. Oh, listen to that. So, uh, as most of you know, I did uh, sneak off to Canada just for one day. Uh, got to hang out with Shane's Craft Beer Review and uh, Beer for Breakfast Facts for Snacks ever so briefly. Looking forward to the Beer Tuber get together. It's going to be in the Canadian side of Niagara Falls in Canada in July 2024. So everybody, stay tuned for that. Going to have a lot of great people coming together and shooting a lot of great content for you. All right, she's crystal clear. Crystal clear. Wolfie, do not make me spill this. I got to dive into it. Just got home from the day job. Time to start the second job. Cheers. Mm. I like that. It's very aggressive bubblies biting my tongue as I'm drinking it. Nice and cold beer flavor. I like that. So here's my take on blonde ales. As, as a style in general, it's not, it's not a style that I typically go for. And usually it's just because of the, of the lighter flavors. Um, especially when it comes to, to craft beers. Um, I, I had a beer over the summer and it was a craft and I didn't realize it was a light lager till I'd already got it home and was reviewing it. And most people don't want to pay that kind of a price, craft beer price, for something that tastes um, something like a macro. You get a you know, Coors Light, Buzz Light, Miller Light, or whatever, for much cheaper. Um, this Blonde Ale, to me, and I said, I just, just got home from work, so it was a, a, a very welcome taste. Um, I like it. I don't know how much this cost. Um, he sent me this, just have this one can here, so I don't know how it costs versus how it, how it tastes. It is delicious. It's beer flavored. It's nothing wild and wacky. There's no orange peels. There's no coriander. Um, 
so if, if you like the taste of beer, you'd love this. Um, and I know for my American viewers, uh, a lot of the great Canadian beers we just can't get down here south of the border. Uh, the beers that we do get from Canada aren't the same beers that they have for sale up there. The alcohol content's different. Uh, that's just a whole nother ball of wax that I could talk about for hours and at the end of it I'm just so confused as to why why it can't be the same. But this is fantastic. I've never been to Manitoba or Winnipeg. Um, one of these days, put it on the list, we'll knock it off one of these days. But for right now, you see Wolfie here, he's very interested in trying to get me to spill this. I'm not going to spill it, Wolfie. I'm going to drink it. I'm going to enjoy it. Thank you, Alan, over at One Flight Down for sending it to me. Thanks again, Drew, for the shirt. And I will see you all next time. Dylan, oh, you want to smell it? Oh, he wants a drink. Mm. It is good. Why don't you look at him? Let him see your, your handsome face. Show him your handsome face. Right over here. Look. Look. Oh, he's a big beast. A gentle giant. Cheers. Gotta be there somewhere.